Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, I will explain the option spherical joint in Katia V5 DMU kinematics. Here you can see the command in kinematics joint, and here you can see the assembly which has the four parts: one, two, three, and four base. When you create, when you create these parts, here you can see curved part with some radius. and center somewhere somewhere its center will be its center this center and this part center should coincide and the radius whatever you give for this curved part uh, should be the same distance uh, from this point to the center of this sphere then only here here you can see a point then only the point coincide with this uh, with this guide center curve and it uh, it simulates uh, along that path then this one this part and this pier should coincide at center and this part you just uh, assemble on the base like this first you need to assemble these parts in assembly workbench then come into dmu kinematics start mechanical design uh, start dmu digital mock up here we can see dmu kinematics already it is in D dmu kinematics workbench only now to apply to use this spherical joint along with this joint we need to use uh, four more joints one is a revolute joint second one is a point curve joint third is a spherical joint fourth is a planar joint fifth rigid joint so these five joints you need to apply for these parts a revolute joint for base and the part which is above the base spear joint spherical joint for this one and the center spear then point curve joint for this spherical part and this curved part then planar joint you need to select a plane of this curved part and this part and rigid rigid joint you need to apply for this part and this part now before going into applying joints we need to create a mechanism see go to fixed part new mechanism you can write any name spear then select base then it is fixed now go to first revolute joint revolute joint for base and the part which is above base line 1 base cylindrical axis line 2 this cylindrical axis plane base top surface plane 2 this one top surface which is parallel to each other then i want to maintain the same distance if you directly go into okay it coincides in that case uh, select this offset option and maintain the same distance then keep this option on angle driven then go for okay the mechanism can be simulated option so revolute it can revolute first one then go into next spherical joint point 1 means so point 1 means nothing but you directly select this part sphere surface 1 and sphere surface 2 then it coincides both at center then go for okay this is second one 
and third one point curve joint select point curve joint for this curve is this one and point is point you need to select this point and the point you need to give the distance to this point such that it has to match this curve so you can see here point which i have created this one this one but this point belongs to this part this part not this part so curve we selected on this part and the point belong to this part spherical part like this then go for length driven option select then go for okay i i can open and show that this point belongs to this part right click on that open in new window see here this point and this point distance how much distance it has to match to the curve see 150 exit this curve also radius is 150 see 150 it has to match even if you if you give Uh, somewhere point if you see a small difference even like a 0.01 also it won't accept point curve joint so see that creating a point exact coinciding this curve then next one is plane or joint plane or joint means you need to select two planes plane of uh, this curved part and plane of this spherical part in that case see here in specification tree part 1 part 2 you open this so that we can see the planes here directly you can't select the plane because uh, uh, we don't uh, we can't see which planes belong to which part so that open the specification tree yz plane of first part yz plane of second part directly i select here so go to plane or plane or joint see first part do check let me check this is first part and this is second part so plane or joint should apply between these two parts then go for plane or joint yz plane here first part yz plane second part then go for okay then finally we need to go into rigid joint rigid joint in rigid joint you need to select two parts which should be rigid see this part 1 do select directly this part part 2 this one then go for okay and mechanism the mechanism can be simulated this of when do we got so that we can simulate now you can see the number of joints in this here going to joints 1 2 3 4 5 5 five joints i minimize minimize go to simulation option now simulation see here this sphere moves along this curve and also it rotates see here i move this first one command 2 see here throughout the arc it can simulate with given distance okay 360 is enough then clockwise or anti clockwise see here then go to insert then reduce speed then go for play see like this this is a spherical joint like this change loop then keep this one then play I slightly increase speed. See like this. This is spherical joint. I go for another loop. It continuously rotates clockwise or anti-clockwise in one direction. i keep in second loop only first second and i increase speed
then go for okay so that under application you can see mechanism under simulation you can see simulation again if you want to check check its simulation double click then here change loop reduce speed then click so this is a spherical joint in a uh, katia v5 dmu kinematics thank you for watching this video for more video share and subscribe imperial cat system